In order to start a Google Meet, you're going to go to meet.google.com. So in order for you to change anything in the Meet and adjust your settings, you have to be live in the Meet. So once you go live, so down here in the bottom left-hand corner, see where it says Meeting Details? If you copy and save that link, put that in Google Classroom, and you could have one Meet code for first period, one Meet code for second period, one Meet code for third, and so on. Copy that, and you paste it in. So this is turning your mic on and off. This okay. is hanging up. Okay. Now I can turn my camera on and off. I have mine off. So, because you don't need to see me twice, but there it is. I see that the microphone is working up here because it's registering. Yeah. I'm going to move along. I can click on turn on captions. This is really cool that while I'm talking, it's going to capture what I'm saying. For your babies, as you're talking, they can see that in case they're like, oh, wait, what was she talking about? I guess. And, and it's showing on the text. And okay. it's pretty accurate. I mean, I have to say it's, I'm pretty impressed. It's capturing both. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to move along here to the, your, you, I'm already presenting. So I don't want to stop right now, but when you click on, you want to present, you're going to select present now and you can choose your window, which is only one application. So if you go back and forth, if it's in Google, that's it. As long as like if everything is in a Google window, you're good. If you're like me and I need to show multiple things, I share my whole screen, which means that's why you can down here, the bottom bar. You can see my, basically you're seeing everything on my screen. Pick one of those, click on it and hit share and you're good to go. You'll know you're present so now we're moving over here to these three dots. And when we go to the three dots, I'm currently recording this session, because, but I can stop the recording. You can change your layout. What that means is I can say, I want to see tiled who's in my meet. I can say, I want to do my little sidebar or I can spotlight which means i'm going to have just what my main screen is okay okay full screen means if i do this that's the only thing i'm going to see right now but i can't see what i'm presenting right. this is good if everybody was showing their camera and you were just a conversation and you weren't presenting i can go into settings this is how you can make sure they have a mic turned on you can adjust it so i have there's a built-in mic on my mac but I also have an external mic that I'm using because capturing this for a video to upload it later. So okay. I'm using a, a podcast mic. That's not required. Under video, you can change your camera if you're using front facing or if you had a webcam. Unfortunately, right now, they're only letting us use standard definition. So the video quality is not great, but it works. And then I go down here and I can use my phone for audio, that is if you don't get good quality or you're worried about your internet connection, you can use your phone for audio so that it, it works a little bit better. Those are all the settings. Up here at the top, I can click and see that it's you. It's going to look like there's an extra person because it's me and my presentation screen counts as a second person. Now, I can drop down on you once I've started it since I'm the owner of the meet. I can pin you up to the top so that I can make sure I'm seeing you. I can mute you. So okay. if all the kids hop on and they haven't turned off their mic, I can mute you. And I can also remove you from the meet. So I remind people when they join, go ahead and mute your microphone. Just turn it on if you have to ask a question. Otherwise, you're going to hear all of the noise. And then this chat right here is ongoing as long as I have it open. When I close it out and rejoin my meet, my, my chat has been cleared. But here's what's really cool. So I told you I'm recording it. I go to my recordings. Google creates in my drive a folder that's called Meet Recordings. I added my little emoji so it stood out. These are all of my recordings I have so far. Oh, cool. Since we started all this fun. Yeah. All the way back to my test run up to today. For every Meet that you do, notice you get the red is your video. The blue is text. Okay. Uh, document. And what that means is it's capturing. Let me go to this one. Anytime anyone records in the chat, it time date stamps who it was. Okay. I would recommend that you tell the kids I'm using that for attendance. Make sure you add your name first uh, and say hi. And it will capture that they responded to a question. So you can go back and see who was in your chat. Okay. Additionally, it's a great way for you to go back and see what questions were asked. And third, just in case we are knuckleheads, you've got a record of that if they put anything inappropriate in the chat. And let them know I'm recording this session 
and I'm recording what's in the chat, so make sure that it's school appropriate. 